Hello and welcome to Community Chats. I'm your host, Ali Hammer, and today we're joined with Luke Hargraves, a solution architect and sustainability ambassador here at AWS. Luke, thanks so much for being on the show today. Can you start by giving us a proper definition of sustainability? Because we do always hear about renewables and carbon neutrality, but what exactly does sustainability mean in reality? Yeah, no, no problem. And thanks for having me on the show. This is fantastic. Um, so uh, the official definition is the ability to, to meet the needs of the present without compromising the needs of the future. That's the official definition. So, but that's a little bit to unpack. <laughs> so what we can think of is, um, think of it as having three pillars, right? It's an economic pillar, which is around money, an environmental pillar, which is the most important one, and a social pillar, which is about helping people. I think the best way maybe is um, to reverse it. So David Attenborough basically said, you know, um, we can't keep cutting down rainforests forever. Um, and by any and anything that we can't keep doing forever is by definition unsustainable. So that's probably an easier way to think of it. Thanks so much. I definitely understand that one. So now that we know what sustainability is, what is Amazon doing in this space? Yeah, um, so it's become a really big topic over the last few years with us. Obviously, we're one of the world's largest supply chains. Obviously, there's Amazon as a larger company, and then there's AWS. Um, so we have a really large global responsibility to be doing something about this. And because of that reason, we've announced a couple of things. Um, a lot of customers and a lot of businesses have signed up to what's called the Paris Pledge, which is 2050 um, being carbon neutral, okay? Now that pledge um, we saw or Jeff saw as being a bit not ambitious enough, <laughs> which, is, which is common on Amazon, right? So he's pulled that forward to what we call the climate pledge which is uh, hitting carbon neutrality by 2040. And we have a number of signatories to that, which is a number of tech companies that are doing it as well. Um, and that's something that we see as, as crucial to hitting those targets. Uh, alongside that, obviously, um, there's a whole spectrum of what's considered sustainable, but obviously we have you know, our focus because of AWS and because of our focus on data centers, we have a focus on two things, which is renewable energy and water. Um, what we can do in that space is obviously, you know, there's a couple of things. Uh, firstly, Amazon has committed to buying electric vehicles for our delivery. So we've bought uh, 100,000 electric vehicles uh, as a fleet. And, you know, <laughs> the equivalent of that, let's say, is like the entire US Postal Service <laughs> in terms of vans, right, which is crazy. Uh, and the other thing is like that we've, um, We've just announced recently that we became the world's last, uh, last largest corporate uh, purchaser of renewable energy, which is six, six uh, gigawatts of renewable energy, right? So and I'm, I'm going to be a bit localized here, but what that means here is you could basically power Adelaide and Canberra all together, all 1.7 million American homes, which is crazy, right? It's just an unbelievable amount. So, and the other thing is, you know, if you're a customer and you're building with us on AWS, um, if you have your own sustainability goals, particularly around renewable energy, building on us means that you'll be able to hit those 2025 because we'll be 100% renewable by 2025. So you can leverage our sort of like shared responsibility in that sense. Wow. I mean, working here, I didn't even know about all these amazing initiatives. And Luke, yeah. I know Amazon have a lot of customers that are also building sustainably on AWS. So can you give us some examples of what our customers are doing just to get people inspired and, you know, find yeah. out what's possible? Yeah, for sure. Look, like there's a lot of customers doing it, as you can imagine. Um, you know, we've got, you know, the top 500 companies in the world, 80% of them have sustainable initiatives, right? So you can imagine how many customers we have with that. Um, two call outs I'd like to do specifically, probably, you know, just for the coolness of what they're doing. Um, so Nestle is one of them, uh, which, and they've created a, pro a project called Chain of Origin, which is using Amazon managed blockchain. And what that does is that traces coffee right back to the source. So where it was where it was grown all the way up to when it gets into your cup, which is something that was really, really hard to do, obviously. And the reason I like that project so much is because yes, it's a global company, but also it was done here in Australia, in Byron Bay. So it's just a nice story, right? And the second one is like, um, let's say, uh, our, our global air brand, like Qantas, right? So Qantas have been using Amazon Amazon's machine learning services to optimize their flight paths. And you can imagine, you know, any saving on flight paths saves a lot of fuel and airline fuel is quite, quite carbon intensive, as you can imagine. So um, anything we can do to save that, they've shaved off a lot of their flight times, which has been fantastic. And hopefully everyone's like offsetting their carbon on flights anyway, right? Ali? So it should be, should be something we can all do together, right? 
Incredible. Look, Luke, I've got to bring you back on the show because I know that we've got so many customers. When you're saying 80% of our customers are doing something in this space, that is huge. Yeah. So we've committed, mm. we're going to do 15 interviews with our customers, hearing awesome. about all this um, cool stuff that they're doing in the space over the next two months. And I can't wait yeah. to hear all their stories. So thank you so much for joining us today. No, I thank you so much for having me. It's been great. Let me know when you want me back. <laughs> Get you back soon. Thanks, Luke. And awesome. to all our viewers at home, we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.